So 18 years of this lecture, but just imagine what it's going to be like in 2050. <laughs> systematic nomenclature of Clerk, 1726, through to the groundbreaking and prolific taxonomic work of Eugene Simon in the early part of the 20th century, with particular emphasis on the influence that such authors have had on the modern day arachnologist. Professor Kirk, perhaps we could start with your thoughts on the work of Ludwig Koch and his magnus opus De Arachnidon, which of course gave us both a description of Acanthus corriginiculata and of course to Generia Domestica. So, Professor Kirk, are you a fan of cock? <laughs> uh, of course, we, we must be careful not to confuse the works of Ludwig Koch with that of his son, Carl Christian Koch, who, as you know, followed in his father's footsteps as one of the most influential arachnologists of the period writing numerous works on spiders, of Siberia, and Eurasia. Both men had remarkable ability, though it was the father, Ludwig Koch, who was to be the more successful of the two. So to be clear, Professor Kirk, are you saying that you prefer older Koch to younger Koch? <laughs> <laughs> You see those people who speak like this, blah, 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 blah. I believe I have heard of such people. Well, that's you, that is. That's <laughs> how you talk. And see this image? I, I can indeed see the image. That's you in your latest clothes, that is. That's what you wear when you give BTS lectures. <laughs> I see. You see these people? I have indeed observed the slide. That's your gang, that is. <laughs> They're your bodyguards. <laughs> uh, see this? I can indeed. That's you organising an expedition with all of your spider mates. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, go on. <laughs> and that's you giving a lecture at the BTS for all of your students. <laughs> I see. That's because they're all round at your girlfriend's house. <laughs> I see this? I can indeed. The boyish figure dressed in his Sunday best. I, uh, I can indeed observe the Fortnoy figure. You've lost a fight to him. <laughs> He's staring at you right now. You're scared of him. See this? <laughs> Childlike simple graphic representation of an arachnid. I can see the very pathetic aforementioned illustration. You drew that. <laughs> That's the best taxonomic representation of a therophosi that is. Hmm. Now. You see this image of a group of young paupers from the early 1900s? You mean that assemblage of unfortunate individuals behind me? I do. Well, that's your team, that is. Mm. Professor.
Professor Kirk, if we could please return to the topic under discussion. Of course, I'm very sorry. Professor Kirk, I believe you have recently returned from Borneo, where you have been working on a new book about the large Miglamorph spiders of the area. That is correct. I believe it to be a groundbreaking study of hitherto undescribed creatures, and it is destined to become a, one of the foremost works of arachnology of the 21st century. Indeed, it is a fine work, and I have no doubt that it will be one day published in the BTS journal. I have here a copy of the said study, and if I may be allowed to read a brief extract from it. Oh, please. It would be an honour. Go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> While searching the roadside embankment for signs of tarantula activity, we came across this poor individual who claimed to have been bitten by the very spider we now sought. His legs had the appearance of rickets, and he was covered from head to foot in festering sores. His eyes bulged and his arms flayed violently around his head. His body shook uncontrollably, and when he spoke, it was like this. All in all, it was the most ghastly apparition of a man I'd ever come across. He was indeed a very sad soul. Professor Kirk, I believe you did not, however, manage to ascertain who this character was. Un unfortunately not. Well, we have managed to track him down and identify him, and can reveal who this unfortunate soul was. Uh, that's most interesting. Who was he? That's you, that is. <laughs> That's a new dance. <laughs> have recently finished a publication that you have been working on for over 20 years. In fact, I believe it's your only work to date. I have, and I believe it will become my finest work. <laughs> I too have a copy of said work, and would like to read from it. Please, it would be alright. spiders because they rule and that's all you've done in fact well, well well ladies and gentlemen i think there could be no doubt that tonight we have with some success endeavored to cover the topic of arachnological history in some depth and we look forward to our next debate good night good night <laughs> We're still not working out why Pete's wearing a white wig. He's <laughs> actually got white hair, but there you go. Okay, another round of applause for all our lecturers um, for today. And these guys, so if, you, if you've lectured today, come to the front. Oh, right. <laughs> Can I have my coat back now, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, and, uh, yeah, and obviously some of you are not going to see Mike tonight, so we'll get Mike up here as well. And you can pretend that you saw him. Because that's your life, that is. Right. Okay. First off, we kicked off with the wonderful Emma, who gave us a great talk on DNA and barcoding and all the technical stuff that we do not understand. I do understand it now. Yes, absolutely. I'm going to write a book. <laughs> it could be your finest book. It could be. Right, and then obviously. The wonderful Paul, who will always delivers fantastic trip adventures for us, and and then obviously Ray, who's who spent I know spent a lot of time researching that talk for us and travelling in that little dinghy, and uh, <laughs> and obviously Andrew, the living legend he is. Speaking of little yeah, <laughs> speaking of a little thing is, my ice skipper, and obviously it's Mike tonight who's going to deliver a really cracking after the dinner talk. So. Uh, Let's give them all a round of applause and uh, we'll see you next time.